you're definitely gonna have to make a stop at Home Depot. Actually, I went here too many times for this project. As always, hope everyone's doing well, staying positive. In this video, we're going to show you how we go about building this retaining wall. It's approximately 125 feet long, 5 feet high. The footing is 4.5 feet wide, 18 inches thick, with a keyway of 3 feet deep and 1 foot wide, and close to 2 tons of number 5 rebar. So as with any retaining wall, we always frame the front of the footing first. This allows us to get the exact measurements to the face of the wall, which is very important. Once this is established, we then make sure we have the proper elevation before we start framing for the footing. Check out the link above or below and you can see us installing the concrete footing. It kind of gives you more detail on what it takes to install it the correct way. Once we install the footing, we start framing the back of the wall. It's very important that the first board is perfectly leveled. From there, we just stack the two by 12s on top of each other until we get our correct height. Be sure to stick around to the end as we got some incredible drone shots of this project. And also be sure to like and leave a comment below. Greatly appreciate it. Check out the link above or below to see how we go about building the back of a retaining wall. And if you're in the Sacramento Bay Area, you can also set up an appointment as well. We ended up setting up a rebar table. Now this allows us to be more productive when it comes to cutting rebar. For most of our retaining walls, the rebar is 12 inches on center, and about 95% of the time we use number five rebar. About half our retaining walls have a keyway. Inspectors are very picky about keeping them clean. We're constantly cleaning them out prior to us pouring the concrete. So once we pass inspection, it's time for some concrete. Now, when we pour our concrete, we start with the footing. We go from one end to the other, come back, and do what they call lifts. So we will pour about a foot, maybe a foot and a half of the wall, again, from one end to the other, and then go back up. Now we repeat this process till we complete the wall. While we're doing that, we use a concrete viber and this helps eliminate air in the concrete so you can have a nice and beautiful wall at the end. So here we're gonna do a smooth finish on top of the concrete wall. On most construction projects, something is always gonna go wrong. And here, let's just say the concrete holes almost got away from us. A couple days after the pour, we come back and strip the wall, and this is what they call a board finish. You can see the imprints from the wood on the concrete. 
this is pretty straightforward. Just taking out the nails, dropping the boards, and putting them on the truck. And as promised, here's the picture of the drone shots. Again, this wall was approximately 130 feet long, five feet high, eight inches thick. We use number five rebar, 12 inches on center. Now, if you're in the Bay Area, Sacramento, you can always set up an estimate. Link is in the description below. And remember, stay positive, hang around people that are positive, and know it's cool to ask for help. Make it a good one.